creatives welcome to the daily pick a card and birthday reading for november 7th if you were born today after sunrise you are a king of clubs if you were born before sunrise you're actually yesterday's card which was an ace of diamonds so i'm going to read each card individually then all together for the collective we're going to talk about what kind of energy we might be bumping up into today and how we might navigate the cards messages then a special birthday message for you king of clubs this is your solar year cards they are here to help you help yourself raise your vibration and energize your manifesting abilities all right let's get started with card number one two of clubs great way to start the day Knowledge is power. Let's get some answers to some questions because there are lots of questions. And how is that going to come to us? It's going to come to us through that intellectual knowledge where we learn what we absorb from the environment around us, who we listen to, what we listen to, read, what our interests are and how deeply we take them and how deeply and meaningfully do we share that knowledge? What do we do with it? Those are the questions we're asking ourselves today. Under this King of Clubs, it's incredibly good energy and high vibe. It is old soul knowledge. It's um, deconstructing and rebuilding who you think you are when you let go of some limiting beliefs. So this could really, really be something in that category of having something come to you, you realizing that, ooh, time for an upgrade. I need to spruce up that resume. I've got so much more to add to it. I'm seeing things about the business that could really improve things that I hadn't seen before. This is amazing. It's that kind of energy around this two of clubs. So, yeah, it is a take action card. It is willingly moving toward finding the answers. So look for those synchronicities and, yeah, just let it, let it happen. Let's look at card number two. <clears throat> We've got the seven of diamonds. So seven gateway cards. We are looking at the the end of the week and that connotation that we are already in with Scor Scorpio, the death card. So this is really, really interesting that this is here because the Seven of Diamonds is also energized by the Nine of Hearts. So if you've got a Nine of Hearts in your chart, think about that and follow, pull that thread. It's a nine, so you're going to want to go to K2, see where your, if you have nines and where your K2 is, and it's going to be something to do with that. It'll have something that you need to release, right? The death card connotation, we're doubling down on this. So this is all about that necessary transformation. This is about maturity and growth. You're letting go of some thing that is not working. It's broken. It needs to be out and have something new come in. That's what sevens do. It's um, also the millionaire card. So this is like a one in a million chance. You have to take some calculated risks with this. And it's hard working, but it's also very charismatic and very fortunate if you do the calculated part. <laughs> all right. And it's all has to do with a positive attitude with the sevens. Let's look at card number three. 
the Four of Hearts. This is lovely. This is in the chart of the card of the day. It is in the moon position. So look to see if you have the Four of Hearts in your chart somewhere. I do. I have it in my K2. And that you can pull the thread on. Go to your fourth position. Go like me. I It's my K2, so I should go and look and see where my K2 is in the upper seven and understand that that stability, that emotional well-being is going to meet me there. It's also mer Mercury-led high priestess. So a little easier to channel that voice from source, from your spirit guides. You're a little more open to it, handing you some sort of comfort in that four of hearts. It is it is fulfilling connections of comfort and balance. Beautiful. All right. I'm glad that everything is in the upright position. This is really pretty powerful on a king of clubs day, especially since we have this in the emotions. We're looking at Scorpio. Scorpio is all about having that realization over and over and over about what needs to go, what needs to stay. It is semi involved with their their overall catch 22 because they are a fixed sign which is a little more stubborn a little more um, ingrained in their personality. Sorry, I know, but <laughs> I have plenty of Scorpios in my life and I love them <laughs> just for this reason, because it's so deep. It's like those, what's that saying about uh, quiet, quiet waters run deep. And it's true because there's so much that is locked inside and every one of us has Scorpio in our chart. So you're going to want to look at it from that angle too. Where is your, what, what house houses Scorpio for you? And look to see what kind of stability could be drawn from that for you today under this king of clubs. It is Pluto energy of the day. So let's take a look at what you have in your Pluto position because that's the king's natural card position. And for the card of the day, the king of clubs has an ace of clubs there. So when you get an ace, you're going to want to go back to that sun position. That's that jack of diamonds for the day. Now, that is a what they call the salesman card. You know, it's full of energy. It is lighthearted. It's creative, inventive. It houses the aces, twos, and threes of the diamond suit, which is all good energy, all fast moving, all very lush and self alchemy with temperance energy and empress energy. It is really lovely energy in that when you pull that string on a jack, you go back to the Uranus position. And what does the card of the day have? A king of spades. So we've got that luscious possibility of making a big change for ourselves and through grace and through revelations, overcoming some limiting self-belief, which I believe is this card right here. This is what it is pointing to for us for the whole day. We got to stay out of the lower vibration of the king of clubs because that is just diving in and getting stuck, being resistant to that narrow-mindedness and resistance to, to opening and resistant, you know, it's, if you don't do it, it's going to happen for you. <laughs> we all know this. If we know anything at all, we do it or we have it done because it's Pluto energy. So 
don't be defensive about it. You know, don't, don't be delusional, you know, get out of the daydreaming and off the couch. And, you know, this is eventually you pulling all these strings is this really powerful high vibe energy of aces and kings and making connections yeah, it's beautiful energy. And at the end of the day, when we get to the birthday, we're going to talk about how to maneuver through the day along with the King of Clubs. So yeah, this is really nice because we're going to be making those connections intellectually with something meaningful. It's going to be about something that it's timely. It's no big deal. We're just like, oh, okay, it's been brought to my attention. It's going to the top of the list, not the bottom. I'm going to put it at the top and I'm going to really spend some time thinking about what I can release that's going to be better for me. We're looking at the death card now. So remember, it's all about necessary transformation and new beginnings. It's like a little mini rebirth. Scorpio. Okay, that's <laughs> so clear. And then we're going to make room for this really lovely, meaningful stability. Love it. Okay, great. Happy birthday, King of Clubs. Let's see what you get for the Creativity Oracle and see where you are being invited to take a closer look at possibilities of raising your vibration. Let's see. Resistance. Oh, you Scorpio, you. <laughs> this is almost funny. <laughs> Understanding why you resist. What you have to do is a critical part of the creative process. Oh my goodness. That is your work to do, isn't it, Scorpio? Wow, you and the second deacon with Neptune, so there for you. So easy to just get into that daydreaming, rose-colored glasses, that, you know, everything's good. You don't need anything. You're fine, you know? And how often does it get revealed? You're because you're you, that Scorpio, that death card connotation of having that realization that, oh, it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> <You know>? Huh. <laughs> and how open are you to, to realizing that and knowing that you need to, as a king of clubs, let it go. You've got such a big job as a Scorpio, as a king, club suit, Pluto energy. So what does that mean for you with this resistance? That's just a natural, necessary part for you to do the work in this lifetime, right? I mean, it's clear. So how do you do that process? Well, for you, your chart you want to go to that eclipse, the Eight of Diamonds, because the Eight of Diamonds is that Rahu, Queen of Hearts. So you need to open to the Queen of Hearts, which is really that Neptunian energy, and get grounded in the, in the, the uh, fog of intuitiveness. I know it sounds crazy, but you of all people can do this. It is what you're built to do if you know how to do it. So your ecliptic path, that eight of diamonds, beautiful card for you to have because that is a validation of self. So that is what you are in this lifetime to do diplomatically, not as a dictator, but diplomatically deciding the pros and cons of an eight. It is so well balanced. And it's also this really fun connotations of the hanged men, where you get to look at things upside down, sideways, inside out, 
And then, then you understand better, more in depth, more knowing of self and where you want to take it. The new you being that king of clubs, that is what you are being asked to do in this lifetime. Why? Because when you do, you open yourself up to changing the world to a higher vibration just by being you. How lovely is that? It's gorgeous. All right, let's see what you get for the spirit and nature card. The queen of hearts, of course. There you are, your Rahu. That is exactly where you need to go and take a look. Queen position is the three of hearts. So yeah, it's a little fast paced. It is that Neptunian energy again, you know, full of Neptune all over your chart. And you as well in that second deacon, Neptunian as much as you can be. So for you, that fog, that elusive, intuitive, psychic ability that you have in that knowing, just that aura is just the most perfect way to describe Neptune to me. And it is that tingly sensation, you in that bubble, bumping up against all the energy out there, taking it, sorting it through with that three of hearts, feeling it through. And then you get to be the queen of hearts, which is a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful, intuitive and knowing and balanced and stable in the best of times. And even in the worst of times, you know, it's it can be incredibly inventive and incredibly creative. So if you channel that lower vibe, you could come up with something absolutely extraordinary as a, I don't know, a juxtaposition, I guess. Nice. All right. Is there anything else here that needs to be said? No, I think that uh, that was it. So let's see what uh, you get for the Wishcraft card. Magical rocks. I am grounded and creative. Perfect. Well, that is not a bad place to be asked to go to take a deeper look into how you resist and what is that about it that is crucial to your creative process. How you love yourself, how you nature, nurture, and how you stay grounded through that Neptunian experience. I love it. All right, well, happy birthday. And as always, carpe diem, stay kind and curious as we journey creatively.